Carpenter, now, where's my lunch? You're coming. I'm terribly sorry for the delay, so please forgive me. Uh, I asked for scrambled eggs. Where are my eggs? Where, where, where? That's why I'm late, sir. There isn't a single egg to be found in all of Altafiori. How dare you? I don't want excuses. I want scrambled eggs. Now, where are they? Sir, you don't seem to understand. The hens are very upset by the war, and, well, they're just not giving out. The hens are upset oh, yes, by the sir. war. It's not doing me any good either, you dodo. I want to give you... Temper, temper, bingy boy. That is, son. Save some of that scrapping for the Germans. That is, if you ever get to see any. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever believe in knocking, Harrigan? Well, you never would have heard me over the ruckus. Listen, Bingy boy, I'm your friend. I come here to tell you that a VIP from Washington is coming through, and I want you to get this little town of yours cleaned up. VIP, another one? We got enough VIPs over here, the Senate could have a roll call. But this time it ain't a senator. It's Frank Templeton, the political boss. Well, they've got a lot of nerve. We're over and they keep... Frank Templeton? Big Frank Templeton? Do you know him, sir? No. We... No, I've always wanted to meet him, though. He's a Mr. Big in Washington. He could get practically anybody elected to Congress. Beats me why a man like Frank Templeton would want to tour a combat zone. Well, he's probably looking for political timber for after the war. You know, I've always thought about going into politics. Look, if Big Frank wants a candidate, he would pick a fighting man. Someone like my own self. Not some desk soldier whose idea of combat is a tussle with a typewriter ribbon. <laughs> tussle with... I'll have you know that the job I'm doing here is not only an important job, but it is a dangerous one. Of course, Wally. Now, you just take care you don't... Stab yourself with a paper clip. <laughs> and be sure and look for me and Big Frank tomorrow, 0900. So long, best jockey. <laughs> Someday, hell right. Someday, that big blowhard, I'm gonna grab him right by the neck and I'm kinda ring it, ring it, ring it. Ring sir, it. you're choking me, sir. I know that. It I... doesn't give me near as much fun, but I've gotta choke somebody. <laughs> sir, that's hell, yeah, that's an order. I'm gonna ring it, ring it. Ring it. some papers here for you to sign. Oh, papers for you to sign. Papers for you to sign. Fine way to impress Big Frank, sign a lot of papers and blow my big chance. Well, big, well, what chance is that, sir? Big chance for politics, you ninny. I've always wanted to run for Congress after the war. If I could impress Big Frank, I'm just as good as elected. Oh, yes, sir, and if I may say so, you will make a fine congressman, sir, because you are a man that people can trust, a dynamic leader, a forceful personality. Oh, a vote-getter if I ever saw one, sir. Yeah, my sentiments exactly, uh -huh. all right, but I'm not so sure about what Harrigan is right. I think a war hero would have a better chance of getting elected. Well, sir, is it your fault that you've never been in a battle? That every time you've seen a German, you've had to turn tail and run? <laughs> well, I mean, because you're outnumbered, sir. You know, much too... You... Carpenter, sir. don't you ever pause like that in the middle of a sentence again, because you may not live to finish it. <laughs> well, well, sir, what I, what I really meant to say was that it is such a shame that a man like you is tied down behind a desk while a man like Commander McHale goes out and gets all the... Don't glory. you <laughs> mention McHale to me. I don't want to... Still, you... You may have something there. McHale and those deadbeats on the 73, they're always lucking into something. Oh, yes, sir. That would be my chance to impress Big Frank. Be a hero. Oh. Get my gear together. I'm joining the crew of the 73. Yes, sir. Just sign these papers before you leave. Oh, sign them yourself, you desk jockey. Just Don't you know a combat man when you see one? <laughs> 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 Oh, where is everybody? 
everybody. <laughs> Sir, we were over at that. Uh, uh, you boob, quit touching me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold it. What am I getting so excited about, anyway? It was obviously just an accident. <laughs> That's right, sir. It was just an accident. That's right. And now, sir, as to where we were. Oh, forget <laughs> that. Forget that. I don't care where you were. That was the old Binghamton talking. Now, the, the new Binghamton couldn't care less where you were. Uh, what? Uh, the new Binghamton? That's right. The old Binghamton, I believe you called him uh, Lead Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, he was a desk soldier. The new Binghamton is a combat man. Combat man. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I see. That's, that's why you're all dressed up in this... That's uh, right. I'm uh, moving in with you men. I'm joining the crew. What? Uh, huh? Joining the... <clears throat> I, I don't think I heard you right, sir. Did you say you were moving in with us? That's right, Quint. I'm a changed man. Huh, Quint? <laughs> Chuck E. Huh? Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh. 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 I may be the new Binghamton, but you're the same old Parker, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Willie, fix that for me, will you? And lads, give me a hand with my gear. Uh, but now, now, Captain, there's one thing I don't understand, sir. Now, why would you want to move in with us, sir? Now, tut, tut, Quint. There's no more of the plush life for me. A CO should be with his men. He should live with them. He should fight with them. He should die with them. I'll be careful of my hand grenades there, Lester. Hurt the enemy plane! I'll take cover, sir! Is that? Take cover! It's an air raid, sir! Air raid! Oh, boy, that bullet almost had your name on it. Oh, my. How close was it? Oh, well, it had your initials on it. There he is at 10 o'clock! Take that! Put the helmet already. I can't see what's going on. Wow, wow, wow. All right, all right. Hold it, man. Cease fire. Here you go, Captain. Up you come. Oh, boy, that was close. They almost got you. Who almost got I didn't hear any plane. Uh, you didn't hear a plane? Uh, well, of course you didn't hear a plane, sir. Because uh, uh, they were gliders. Yes, that's it. They were the new German gliders. <laughs> Gliders? Uh, uh, that's right, sir. They silently swoop in and then... rat a tat <laughs> You don't stop that. I'll rat a tat tat you! Only three tats, sir. Uh, uh, now, wait a minute, Captain. Wait a minute. Uh, look, it's much too dangerous for you to be out here with us, so... Nonsense. Danger's what I'm looking for. But, Captain, we haven't had a scramble in days. Uh, look, if there's anything comes up, we'll give you a call at your office. I haven't got time for that. I mean, now. Now is the time. Uh, now, let's seek the enemy out and destroy him. You... Want to seek out the enemy? I tell you, I am a changed man. I want to feel the wind and the spray in my face. I want to inhale the scent of gunpowder. Now, let's move out. Come on, everybody. Geronimo! I finally figured it out. What, Skip? Everything else failed, so now he's trying to kill us. <laughs> oh, that man. <laughs> But, Captain, I keep telling you, from all the reports that we've got, there isn't a single German vessel within 50 miles of here. Why don't we just go home? Negative, Mikhail, negative. We came out here to find some Jerry's, and we are not going back empty-handed. <laughs> Captain, you just fired number two. What are you talking? I didn't fire anybody. I, oh, I, boy, you just cost the government $20,000. Oh, be quiet, you boob. How could I just... Maybe there is a U-boat out there. You guys are always lucking into something. <laughs> Skip, look, it's turning. It's reversing course. Oh, yeah, let me at that wheel, will you? Take that. Give me everything you got. Virgil, see if you can get that fish. Right, Skip. Hit it, Burge. Hit it. You gotta stop that torpedo. Boy, are you ever a menace. I like the old you better. Hang on, everybody. Here she comes. Oh, brother. That was closer than Nat's whiskey. All right, Chuck, take over the wheel. Uh, Captain, you'll have to let go of me now. Skip wants me to take over the wheel. <laughs> What do you mean, let go of you? Let go of me. You're a disgrace, are you? 
panic there and grab me like that. The hell, what is the matter with you? Those torpedoes you're carrying here, they, they must be faulty. That thing went out there and turned around and came back here. That could have blown us up for heaven's sake. In fact, it almost did. It came, it all, it, it almost did. Well, Skip, I thought you had them. Well, I thought you had them. Oh. All right, boys, secure from battle stations. And somebody get the smelling salts. <laughs> Well, uh, Jerry's are just afraid of us, that's all. They heard that the 73 boys were on the prowl and they they ran for cover. Oh, yes, sir. Those Jerry's knew what they were doing, that's for sure. With lead bottom on the job, they can all go home. <laughs> the closest we ever came to being sunk. All right, we'll take a little break, then we'll go right out again. You want to go out again, sir? Virgil? Virgil, we're here, Mio Caro. <laughs> Got all about that party, I said. Uh, what party? Think him to blow his top and... Oh, uh, buongiorno. Uh, buongiorno. Buongiorno. Uh, buongiorno. Are you lost or something? Are you looking for somebody? Uh, whoever it is, uh, they must have shipped out. Yes, that's right. Too bad you missed them. Yeah. <laughs> all right, McHale, what's going on here? What are these girls doing on a military base? Why, why, why? why? Uh, well, but you see, sir, that... Uh, 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 well, uh... We do not understand the boys. So what about the party? Now, that's it. You're planning on having a party. Well, I'm surprised at you. I, well, but you see, sir, I, uh, Well, I mean, I'm, I'm surprised that you think that I'd care. I don't care about that. I mean, we combat men, we got to have a little relaxation. Right, Chucky? <laughs> well, it's just that you've been such a big stinker, sir. We... Yeah. <laughs> stinker. That's cute. That's cute. Oh, well, that's the old Binghamton. When are you going to get it through your head that I'm just one of the boys? All right, girls, it's El Partio time. <laughs> If I wasn't here to see it, I wouldn't believe it. Oh, I see it, and I don't believe it. <laughs> well, I never, Commander McHale, really throwing a party on a naval installation. Oh, I am afraid I'm going to have to report this to the captain, huh? Oh? Well, uh, start reporting, buddy, because there he is. Oh, good. Sir, did you... Hello, oh, oh, Elroy. How's the old desk jockey who's watching the paper clips? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I just... But you... Oh, come you, on, Elroy, you waste-basket commando. Grab a chicken. Swing it, boy. Swing yeah. it. Sir, I will, but, sir, I'm here with a very urgent message from Colonel Harrigan. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. Urgent, uh, Jackie. Uh, okay, for motor going, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, oh. All right. That's so urgent that you're taking away from my boys. Oh, sir. Big Frank's departure has been pushed up so that Colonel Harrigan is bringing him through here in about three hours. Well, he can't do that. He's not due till tomorrow. I haven't even been in action yet. Well, who's, who's Big Frank? Big Frank Templeton, the political boss. And do you know that he has never backed a losing candidate for Congress? So that if the captain here can impress him... I'm explaining about... So that's what this is all about, huh? The new you, the fighting CO. Oh, and all you're doing is putting on a big show for a big shot politician. Uh, speaking of shots, you're going to get yours. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold it, hold it, Captain, hold it. Now put that thing away. I knew you had some kind of an angle, but I never thought it was politics. Hey, you'd be great in politics, sir. The way you're always talking and never saying anything, you know. <laughs> Shut up, you dunce. Just keep your. You're going to get one too. <laughs> All right, McCass, so you know. It's not going to do you a bit of good because I am ordering the 73 out on patrol. I've got just three hours in which to become a hero. Now, wait a minute, Captain. Now, look, for one thing, we've never even seen a German ship for two weeks. But we can't go around manufacturing Germans, you know. I'm giving you an order. You... Well, why can't you manufacture Germans? That's exactly what you can do. This bunch of yours are always parading around here in those captured Jerry uniforms. Well, what are you talking about, sir? I don't have to be a sea hero. I can be a land hero just as well. I'm going to stage an ambush. Oh, no, no, sir. Nothing doing. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. You're going to do just as I tell you, or I'm going to have you all court-martialed for having women on a uh, military base and for carousing and for drinking and for dancing. Oh, wait a minute. You were drinking and dancing right along with him. Only to gather evidence, and Elroy will so testify. <laughs> oh, now, Captain. 
You wouldn't pull a low, down, dirty, underhanded trick like that, would you? Wouldn't I? You would. You would. <laughs> Yes, sir. Let me give you a hand. Uh, hi, Colonel Harrigan. Hello, Mr. McHale. Uh, oh, uh, McHale, this is Mr. Frank Templeton. Uh, how do you do, sir? It's a pleasure. The pleasure is all mine. It's great to come out here and see what a wonderful job you men are doing. Yes, the folks back home are very proud. McHale, is there anybody I can call when I get back? Oh, well, now, that's very kind of you, sir. <laughs> Mr. Templeton, I'm Captain Binghamton. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir, but there's a war on, you know. Please, please, Binghamton. Oh. Uh, I've been looking forward to meeting you, Captain. <laughs> oh, no. Now I've seen everything. Bingy, this isn't Halloween. What are you playing, trick or treat? Since I decided to start fighting this war, instead of sitting at a desk like you do, I've got to be ready at all times. We've come in from a very rough action. Almost sunk a boat. One of ours? <laughs> How did you know it was one of ours? Will you stop with the heckling? Yeah, uh, sir. Sir, don't you think we uh, better get down the airstrip? And Mr. Templeton has to catch a plane, you know. <laughs> Can't keep him waiting, you know. Taxpayers' money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wally, don't you think you better leave your toys behind? I mean, one of them might go off and hurt somebody. The only people who are going to get hurt are the Jerry's. That road to the airport, that is a favorite ambush spot for German patrols. Is that right, Mikhail? Uh, yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. You're both daffy. This whole area has been secured by the Army. Well, what would you know about a combat zone? Combat? <laughs> the closest you've ever got to combat was when that Italian waitress thought you made a pass at her. <laughs> I was only reaching for the greater cheese. <laughs> you know. No, 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 boys. You sound like two senators with their hands caught in the pork barrel. <laughs> Let's go now, shall we? Hey, <laughs> right, here they come. You know what to do, you Schweinhund? You know, man, in that. Well, you give the signal, we let them have it. With the blinds. Until we get chased by the Americana Capitan. Yeah, right, you dumb comp. Mm. Achtung! Ready? Aim! Fire! What thunderation was that? Ah, uh, it's a Jerry patrol. Everybody out, take cover. Uh, hey, hey. Uh, ah, so the army secured this area, huh, Colonel? What's happened? However, oh, it's, it's a Jerry patrol out in the woods, sir. Yes. Now uh, there's just six or seven of them. I'll go after them. No, no, you can't, sir. It's it's it's, it's why it's a you get hurt, sir. Oh, don't be silly. I stand back. That's my job. That's what the taxpayers are paying me for, right, Frank? You kook! Get down! You're drawing their fire! Hey, <laughs> All right, you Jerry's. Here I come. <laughs> Come on, stuck back in the wood. Achtung! Here comes the Americanas! Hey! Take that, you Jerry's! Don't wanna run! Achtung! Here comes the American Amendment! Did you get up, guys? He is kaput! Schweit, ah, you got me. How we doing, Captain? Cloudy. How we doing, Captain? <laughs> oh, 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 you got me. Oh, oh yeah, Captain Dolly, you got me. Oh, 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 oh. The firing has stopped. Poor Binghamton. I wonder if he lived through it. D do you see anything? <laughs> Hey, there's the captain now. He did it. He drove off those jerrys. <laughs> oh, good work, sir. Are you okay, Captain? Well, I must be slipping. One of them got away. You mean all the rest are... All the rest. <laughs> all right, Harrigan, you can come out now. Yes, it is safe, Harrigan. <laughs> Thanks to Wally here, I believe you owe him an apology, Colonel. <laughs> oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, Mr. Templeton, have you ever seen such bravery, sir? Don't you worry, Mikhail. Washington will hear about this, and soon. 
Yeah, well, thank you very much, Frank. I'm flattered, but really, I'm too busy to go into politics right now. Besides, I didn't do anything. Just risk my life. <laughs> you did, Wally. Harrigan, I want you to recommend Binghamton for a citation far beyond the call of duty. I'd be happy to. <laughs> All right, you guys, we better get out of here. Come on, hock two, let's rush. Okay, Jerry's free. Huh? Oh, Jerry. Oh, Jerry's. Oh, no, sorry, you got it all wrong. Uh, we're Americans, just like you. Knock it off, Fritz. You don't drop those guns, you'll be kaput. Now, drop them. Uh, Fritz. Fritz. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, no, uh, my name's Chuck Parker. I was born in Chagrin Falls. Oh, oh. <clears throat> could be Fritz. I could be Fritz. Possible. <laughs> Hey, look, guys, this is all a mistake. Yeah, we're GIs just like you. Yeah, we're Americans. Yeah, yeah he's right. <laughs> Lou Gehrig, Babe Ruth. Uh, don't fire to see the whites of their eyes. <laughs> uh, oh, you better forget that one. Quiet. <laughs> We've been warned against you infiltrators. Now get your hands over your heads. Now let's go. Move! Well, it was nothing, Frank. I mean, it was nothing that any red-blooded American senator wouldn't have done. Well, I'll take issue with that. They tried gab, but you're a man of action, Wally. The kind of oh, man that good I... good heavens, what's that? Sergeant! Bring those prisoners over here. All right, over there. Uh, I wonder where those Germans came from. I uh, thought you got them all, Binghamton. I will now add that those GIs will be able to bring in those prisoners. Uh, why don't we hurry along, sir? We wouldn't want you to miss oh, any that, of that stuff. Hold that back There's something fluky going on here, Sergeant. Just bring those Jerry's right in here. There you go. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> you sure look familiar, Fritz. Uh, nine Fritz, Adolf Schweinheiser. On the fuel side of the family. Seek file. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I thought. Parker. <laughs> And that there's Groover. Mikhail, this is your crew. You mean these Germans are his crew? Yeah, only they ain't even Germans. Sergeant, you can take off. I'll handle this my own self. Thank you. Well, if this isn't the weirdest Binghamton, this deserves an explanation. Start talking. <laughs> you tell him, Mikhail. <laughs> I already told him that part. Offhand, Frank, I would say that Binghamton staged this whole thing just to impress you, so he could get four years in Washington. What? Me? I wouldn't stay. I wouldn't do a thing. Mikhail did the whole thing. He put me up to it. Now hold your horses, Captain. That's Wait a minute, Mikhail. Now, let me get this straight, Bingham. Did you say this whole scheme was McHale's idea? That's right. You've got my word as an officer and a gentleman. Oh, wait a minute. That isn't the way it was. You <laughs> shut up, you Nazi. You just shut up. <laughs> now, wait a minute. This has gone far enough. It certainly has. I'm reporting the whole incident to the general. Don't you dare, Colonel. That was quite a stunt, McHale. Uh, what? Oh, did, did, did you like it, sir? Shows great organization and planning. And most of all, a flair for the dramatic and a devious mind. You'd make a great politician, Mikhail. What are you saying? If ever you decide to go into politics after the war, Mikhail, look me up. Now, I really must catch that plane. They're all waiting. Yes, sir. Here we go, sir. He's not the one. Uh, Frank, I didn't, he's, he didn't have any. I was the Frank. Well, so long, fellas. Good show. Don't forget the next election. Vote early and vote often. <laughs> Mr. Templeton. Uh, I don't feel so bad, Wally. You can't win them all. <laughs> what does it? That broke it. A man can only take so much, and then he's going to start dishing it out. Uh, wait Parker, just a minute. I'm going to give you a little three. Hold it. Wait a three. minute. Three. You cheated. <laughs> Come on, you eight balls. Hurry it up in there. The sooner I get out of here, the better. Watch where you're going. Hold it, boys. Hold it, hold it. We got a scramble. And we got a German destroyer 20 miles up the coast. It's a scramble. You coming, Captain? Not on your life. Well, all right, come on, boys. Let's go. See you later. Hey, hold it up. Hold it up. Here you are, sir. Hold it up. Well, so long, Senator. Let's go. 